Hey assholes, it's me again, Larry Andrews. Uh, quarantined at home on a warm day, Los Angeles. Drinking my presidential approved quarantini with all this good stuff in it because, you know, the president thinks it's a good idea to maybe let's try something on the inside, cleans it out, and bleach it out in a minute. It's very powerful, very strong. So I gotta put on my MAGA hat again, because I have to try to think like certain people, and it's really hard. So I've been seeing a lot of stuff lately, again, on, on social media, YouTube, all over the place. There, there's people out there trying to confront Dr. Burks, trying to confront Dr. Fauci, trying to get them to say what's really on their mind and to get them to reveal their false narrative. And you know what? Bunch of assholes. So here's a guy, Rashid Buttar, B-U-T-T-A-R. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that's how you pronounce it. I'm just going to call him Rashid Butter because you need a little butter for Rashid so that we can slide him a little farther up President Shitbag's butthole. So... Here's a guy, he's an osteopathic physician from North Carolina. And he has no, he's known for this thing called chelation therapy. Now, I looked up chelation therapy. And what it does is it helps with lead poisoning and other heavy metal poisoning. You inject this stuff. If you have heavy metals in your blood, evidently what it does is all the heavy metals attract to the stuff you just injected rendering them inert and it passes through your system and you get rid of them. That's, that's what they use for lead poisoning, heavy metal poisoning. It's not approved for autism or cancer. And that's the rub. Because he was reprimanded, reprimanded by the North Carolina Board of Medical Examiners for unethical treatment of patients and charging ridiculous fees for tests and treatments from people that had cancer, but he called it mercury toxicity. So he was like, ooh, I'm gonna use our, I'm gonna use my chelation therapy on this. No. And I guess he was sued by the Justice Department back in 97 because he got a military scholarship, which I guess he never fulfilled and he had to end up paying it back. So here's a guy born in London, came to the U.S., attended Washington University, graduated with a degree in, and here's my problem right off the bat, graduated with a degree in biology and theology. Theology. I'm going to say it again. Theology. And then he earned his degree in osteopathy at Des Moines University. Okay, he worked as a surgeon for the U.S. Army, but didn't achieve any medical qualification. <sighs> That's the guy that people are going, are, are trying to, you know, he's out there proselytizing and saying that Fauci's, Fauci's a fraud, Dr. Burks is a fraud, coronavirus is a fraud. He's out there basically fighting against people that actually know something because of his degree in biology and theology and the fact that he's been thrown out of hospitals, he's been drummed out of everything he's tried to do. So he's going to get on his little soapbox and he's going to trumpet to the world that he knows better. He's a freaking asshole. Okay? Just like that other guy that I did, 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 did a, a thing on, the other doctor, Slumdog Millionaire. Okay, all you guys have to shut the hell up because you're doing more harm than good. People take your bullshit as truth because you've got the word doctor in your name. You're not a doctor. Maybe you are technically, you're an osteopath. Okay, that kind of makes you a doctor. But it says in your own bio, you've never received any, you, you, you never received any, um, where, where is it? Medical qualification. You're in the Army for several years, but did not receive any medical qualification from the Army. And 
Your license was re suspended indefinitely. Yes, it was stayed. But still, you're using intravenous hydrogen peroxide to, to treat cancer. Something that had no medical backing, but you were going to try it on live people. But they allowed you to continue to practice. I don't understand that one at all. But you know what? I don't even care. Dr. Butter, Dr. Butthair, that's what I'm going to call you. Dr. Butthair and Slumdog Millionaire ought to get together and have their own practice. Practice for dumbasses. So if you want to die, hi, I'm Dr. Butthair. Hi, I'm Slumdog Millionaire, PhD, doctor. I used to be married to the nanny. But that's not important right now. Come on into our office. We're going to shoot you up with stuff that the president says will work for you. We're going to try it out. We're going to try that bleach. We're going to try that Clorox. We're going to try that Lysol. We're going to clean you from the inside out. And you're going to feel beautiful. And praise the Lord because I have a degree in theology. So praise the Lord. You're going to feel great. You're an asshole. Shut up. <laughs>